what the actual tone happened. Where are the improvements? How can no one notice this? How can you say autofocus improvements with every new firmware when actually it's getting worse? From my test and my findings, playing with the XH2S, autofocus in video got worse. From 1 to 3 is worse. From 3 to 5 is worse. And what can we say about 6.0 firmware? No, no, no. No 6.0. 6.01. They fixed the touch overlay. Thank you, Fuji. That's what we've asked for. I've tested all the firmware and video autofocus got worse with every major firmware upgrade. In stills, I didn't see any big differences. I will also make a video about stills autofocus improvements since firmware 1 to 6. People stop being silent when your camera seems like it's working worse with the new firmware. But it's understandable. You can't compare it one to one. You can't downgrade the firmware. Or at least that's what they told us. <laughs> and many people don't have two identical cameras to compare. Maybe that's why they won't let us downgrade? So we can't compare the new improvements? So what I discovered playing with the firmwares, every XH2S firmware has the exact same size, around 110 megabytes. Tell me guys, how can you add AI on a device not connected to the internet by a firmware which has the exact same size as previous ones? Maybe XH2S has an AI core from the factory, but the feature wasn't activated from the start. Does that mean they don't finish the firmwares, the software, and they sell the camera like that? And they'll update it later. Is that what Kaizen means? Unfinished product? We will try to finish it later? Or maybe it's not AI. And it's just marketing. Every basic algorithm is AI now. I didn't see any difference between firmware 2 and 3. In terms of subject recognition, it is the same. On every firmware the camera sees faces in places when there's nothing even close looking like a face. I don't think in this camera is some kind of intelligence. And for sure there's no intelligence in the focusing technology. I mean the practical focusing algorithm to maintain your subject in focus. Because in theory the AI tracking works but it's not tracking anything very well. I tested firmware 1.03, then 3.01 because between firmware 2 and 1 there's no difference. Then I tested firmware 5.10. Again I skipped 4 because there was no difference. And the last firmware 6.01 released today. Latest Fujifilm technology. The settings were identical on all firmwares. I started with firmware 1.03 and then I updated the camera to 3.01. The settings remained exactly the same even white balance was locked at the same value. And then I upgraded to 5.10 and then I upgraded to 6.01. Let's see the test. This is firmware 1.03. Okay, it's acceptable. Nice, a little bit of pulsing. You can see in the eyes the pulsing. Next, firmware 3.01. You can immediately see that it is worse. It is a little bit worse. Now, Firmware 5.10 Worse than 1.03 Maybe similar to the 3.01 firmware But now here it comes, here it comes Firmware 6.01 And... Whoa Whoa, this is the best Fujifilm autofocus technology Whoa Whoa Very nice Fuji and now let's recap. This is firmware 1.03. Firmware 1.03. Okay. And now let's see the improvement. Let's see the improvement. This is 6.01. Whoa, 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 whoa. Horrendous. Next test, this is with a 33mm. Okay. Acceptable, but not very good. But it's usable. It's usable. This autofocus, trust me, it's usable. Now let's see 3.01 firmware. Immediately you can see it's worse. A little bit worse. This is firmware 5.10. In my opinion, is worse than 3.01. Now the 6.01 firmware. Ooh. 
Nice. Very nice. Horrendous. Now let's recap. Let's see the improvements from Farmer 1 to Farmer 6. 1.03. Okay. Okay. Usable. And now drum roll. 6.01. Latest Fujifilm technology. Ooh. Ooh. Now let's see a real world test. This is firmware 1.03. Very nice. Let's look at it again. Very nice tracking and autofocus. Yes, it works nice. I did multiple takes. This is another shot. Works good. Now 3.01. Let's see. You can see it loses her in the middle of the transition. Another shot. Again, same, same style. It loses her in the middle of the transition. Now firmware 5.10. Worse than 3.01. Another shot. And now drum roll 6.01 firmware. Let's see. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, 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 it got it. It got it now. Another shot. Fuji. That's perfect. This is perfection, guys. And now let's recap. This is firmer 1.03. Perfect shot. This is a perfect shot. And now let's see 6.01. Just mwah, perfect focus on the on those flowers. Perfect focus on those flowers, guys. The same test with the 33 millimeter. Nice. Nice. Very good shot. Now 3.01. Worse. Now 5.10. Worse. But now 6.01, guys. Bam. Perfect. Very nice, Fuji. Very nice. Let's recap the autofocus improvements again. 1.03. Nice. Very nice shot. And now. That was nice, but this is mwah, perfect. And now this is the final test, guys. The final test. Firmware 1.03. Oh, look at this. Firmware 3.01. Nice. Firmware 5.10. Nice. And now, firmware 6.01, guys. This is firmware 6.01. What's your opinion, guys? What do you think? Firmware 6.01 got released today to fix the touch issue. But it didn't fix anything about the bad autofocus. I guess this is their new standard in autofocus. This is their best autofocus technology, which is clearly working worse than ever. And it is in the all new cameras. XS20, XT5, XH2, XT50, all the new cameras. And their silence means this is our latest, our best autofocus. I think, and this is my personal opinion, they are focusing on the wrong thing. I think they overcomplicate the algorithm and the processor or camera communication with the lens can handle it and it gives errors. I think they really try to improve, but somehow they are making it worse. It looks like the autofocus lags behind, like on a computer when it freezes for a couple of seconds. They should be focusing on the core of autofocus, the stepping, the lagging communication between the camera and the lens, not the subject detection. Because that thing clearly works. You can clearly see on your screen that it detects your subjects, but can't keep up with it. So video autofocus on firmware 1.03 is very usable. Look at this. It's still on my eye. This is firmware 1.03. It's still bad autofocus, but it's usable. This 1.03 firmware is the best Fujifilm autofocus I ever used, but still behind the Sony A6000 in my opinion. Why? Because of the pulsing, of the stepping, and the focus pulling in three steps. So yeah, those are my findings. I think we can all agree that the autofocus performance is worse than ever in Fujifilm cameras. I'll post another video about autofocus improvements in pictures on every firmware. We'll see you soon.